a nivel
Hello, good evening. Hello, 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 good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. how are you? Good evening. Let me turn on my camera. Um, hello, good evening. How hello, are you? Teacher. Welcome. How are you? It's Friday. Finally, finally. Friday. Good evening, Mayra. You still at the office? It says right here, Mayra Guevara still in the office. Okay, Mayra, don't worry. Osmin, hello, Osmin. Good evening, uh, teacher. Good evening. Are you in your job right now? Yes, yes, in my job. Okay, okay. Yeah, I see, I see. Nice. Thank you for uh, uh, your camera, Ada Patricia. Nice. Hey, hoy era el día de venir a Azul y no me dijeron. <laughs> Look, Darwin in blue, Ada in blue, Angela in blue, Osmin in blue, Lourdes in the picture is in blue. <laughs> My goodness. Solo estoy buscando mi blusa azul. Ya, es como uniforme azul, por favor, los que van entrando. Es que Darwin dice que vamos a ver el partido. <laughs> ah, okay. Hey, ya viene alguien. Gloria me está haciendo barra mí with black. Okay, pero era era de era de azul, Gloria. No nos avisaron. Lástima, lástima, lástima. Ya uh -huh. me voy a cambiar. Ya, yeah, vamos a cambiar. Estamos at home, so let me change. It. <laughs> Let's see. Nice. Let's see. We are 12 right now. We are going to wait a few, a few, a few seconds more for the rest, okay? So it's Friday and uh, well, finally, I feel, I don't know, I'm a little bit tired. Let's see, today is class number 15, right? So we have the, we have the midterm exam. So we will try to see if we can do together at least uh some parts probably not everything or if we have time enough time so we will try to do everything right from the midterm and i guess and i hope that you were able to um work in the platform as well and um complete the complete the midterm exam as well Okay, so I had to pass the attendance as well. Just let me open right here mm -hmm. the file because I don't know why. Pasar el attendance. Yeah, right now, Ada Patricia. Let me see right here. It says intermediate to. Okay, today is Friday the third, right? Friday the third, Friday, December 
the third. My goodness, two more weeks and we are over, okay? Two more weeks and we are over, 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 over. So uh, let's start with the attendance, okay? Let's see Ada Patricia. Present. Thank you, Adriana Stephanie. Stephanie, it's not here. Anna Michelle. Present. Thank you, Michelle. Angela. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Darwin. Present, teacher. Thank you, Darwin. Flor de Maria. No. Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you. Joanna Patricia. Joanna Patricia. No. Lourdes Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Lourdes. Don't forget to be on blue. Um, Margarita Stephanie. No. Mayra Melanie. Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra. Nelson Edgardo. No. Ophelia Orellana. Here teacher. Thank you, Ophelia. Uh, Osmin. Good evening. Good evening, Rafael Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Wow, Christmas tree. Rosa Elena. No. Gladys Sandra. Present. Thank you, Sandra. Susana Carolina. Susana Carolina. No. Be careful with the mute. Jan C. Lisbeth. Jan C. Sulma Rosaura. Present. Thank you. Okay, nice. Uh, perfect. Thank you for your camera. Okay. Thank you for the ones that are with blue. Yellow, the azul. No, no, avisar on the uniform. Okay. So nice. We are going to start. Thank you, Father Maria. Nice to see you one more time. Adri, nice. Good evening. Adri, I guess when I passed the attendance, you were not here. Adri, understand number two. Sorry. Number two. Mm -hmm. Good, evening. You, good evening. Now you have the attendance and also uh, Flor de Maria. Okay. No estaban, pero si están. Okay. Yes, teacher. Nice. My goodness, Rafael Ernesto, that, the, that Christmas tree is yours. Are you at home right now? Yes. Oh my goodness, that's big, a big one. Looks like a little big and nice, beautiful. No, it's, it's normal, or oh, I don't know. Nice. Estoy acostado. Ah, okay, probably that's why, porque yo veo que llega, le llega al techo. <laughs> okay, nice, nice, nice. Christmas is coming. Christmas is it's coming. Unfortunately, we are not allowed to sing or do something in English. Si no nos, si eso estuviera permitido, les digo que los pongo a cantar aquí de Navidad. But we can in, invent. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, yo por mí sí, pero no da permiso. So, let's see. No, no puedo decir más. 
uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now we are 14, okay, we are going to start. Uh, thank you for your uh, conversations, okay? So I received a couple of them today in the afternoon. I don't know if that is just one group, I guess, the one that is missing. But uh, remember that that is practice, right? The idea of the extra activities that we have is to practice, okay? What we are learning, okay? So today we are going to start with a normal class, okay? We will cover the topic for today. And if we have time, well, in the second part, like at night, so we are going to review the midterm, okay? So we will see together the uh, exercise that we have there. Probably you already cover um, and complete and answer all the parts, the exercise that we have in the, in the platform for the midterm exam, but still, okay, we will, we will review together and see um the answers together okay so during the weekend i'm going to review the scores okay so during the weekend i'm going to review the scores okay the the progress that you have in the platform no quiero sorpresas ahí que alguien no ha trabajado nada o que alguien me salga ahí en 40 en 60 en la unidad 2 Porque ya estamos casi por finalizar la tres. So we need to, we need to um, work in the platform, ¿ok? Si la unidad tres no la tiene terminada, está bien por ahí. Como el martes tiene que irla terminando, ¿ok? But unit one and unit two in the uh, midterm exam tiene que quedar, ¿ok? So that's what we have. And then um, we are going to have two more weeks for classes, right? Next week and the following, and then we are over. Okay, so ya vamos de bajada con este módulo. Okay, so uh, well, let me let me ay, esta cosa. Um, let me share the screen. Um, this is. Okay, let's see, I guess now you can see the screen. Okay, so we will see the focus group conversation. So I have something else besides what we have in the in the in the book right here. Okay. So obviously we had to complete right the exercise that we have run the book but we can also do some extra practices, okay? So this is a building vocabulary. With this part, we are going to start. Remember that we are in the unit number three, the one that it's the production line, okay? So we have these terms, okay? There are some words that probably we don't really use it like a daily work. But there are words that are related or regarding the product line. So that's the topic that we are uh, working in the book, okay? And the instruction says building uh, vocabulary. The terms in the chart describe the steps of uh, production process for a shampoo. Match the steps uh, to their corresponding test. Compare answers with a partner. Okay, so the idea it's putting in order. Okay, so let's see if we can do it. Okay, remember that probably we are not so familiar with these type of uh, words or this type of process, but we will try to guess. Okay, we will try to guess. Let me take a screenshot right here. And uh, we have a reading today as well. So today we are going to read, yeah, let's see. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this is the reading. Let's see, I guess that we can switch the order, okay? Porque ahorita todavía no han entrado todos. Y si hago grupo, es, se me quedan fuera algunos. So, so we are going to switch, okay? We will um, complete this uh, part uh, later on, okay? So we are going to do this for right now. Okay, look at the pictures. This is a, a small, small, small reading, okay? So we are going to read and we will do some questions, okay, about the reading. Uh, let's see who, let's see who. Um, oh my goodness, Nelson. Nice to see you with that background. Christmas, as always, right? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. So, Darwin, you are the one, okay? You are the one. Please help us to read the first part right here. And please follow the reading, okay? The idea is read, pronounce, and understand what is the reading about. Okay. Thank you, Darwin. Yeah. Okay. Two days ago, I woke up and I feel terrible. My head was aching and I had a bad feeling in my stomach. I called my boss. I said that it could not work. Thank you. Nice. Okay, let me ask you. Let's see, Angela, which is the tense? Which is the tense that we have in this um, small paragraph? What is the tense that we have? What is it? The tense. The tense. Uh, mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es el teacher? Mm -hmm. Which is the tense that we have in this in this paragraph? Que lea el is, otro no, 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 no. Which, no, which is the tense means it is simple past, it is ah, future, okay, it okay, is okay. present continuous, it is present simple, it is present perfect, past perfect. Um, uh, simple past. Um, simple past, okay, simple past, there you go. So the, converse, the, the reading, the paragraph, it's in past. Um, uh -huh. Everything is in pass, okay? Everything is in pass so far. Nice. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. Do we have any work that we don't know? No. A teen or eighteen? No se cómo se pronuncia. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it is. Aging. 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 That is a pain, okay? Aging, it's a pain. ¿Qué es un a pain? Ay, no sé, a pain. Sí, se me duele la cabeza, right? Aging. I was aging. Estaba adolorido. Así decimos nosotros, right? adolorido, doloriente, moribundo en el jardín. Así decimos nosotros, right? So that would be ancient. Cuando usted se dice, I don't feel well. Usted se está sintiendo adicustody. Ok, so eso es ancient, right? Cuando usted se siente así que ya va a colgar los, los tenis. Ok, so nice. <laughs> Any other work? <laughs> no. no. Appointment. Appointment. Ah, uh, yeah. well, let's let's see. We are going to read the second paragraph right now, okay? Ah, so okay. just, just for the first one, I guess there are no more words. 
Uh, let's see who. Vamos a ver quién, quién, quién. Eh, well, Nelson, Nelson, Nelson. Mm -hmm. Help us read in the second paragraph, please. Okay. A strain after I called the doctor's clinic. The receptionist made an appointment for me at 10 a.m. I drove to hit clinic and went into the waiting room. I went up to see receptionist and stole him my name. She asked me to take a seat. Thank you. Okay. Nice. Now the same story, right? So this is the uh, the same uh, paragraph, right? So it is exactly the same story. It is in past, right? All the, the paragraph is in simple past. Okay. So do we have new words right here? I guess. Um, Lourdes, you mentioned. Appointment. Appointment, please. okay, appointment. So an appointment is when you have a, like a date, okay, but we say appointment when it's with the doctor, okay? Mm -hmm. Usted tiene una cita con... Cita médica. Exactly, that would be appointment. Ahora, usted me dice, mire, yo tengo una cita con, con un amigo, o un, mi novio, la novia, lo que sea, right? Ahí ya es date, okay? Ah, ok. Pero para el doctor no tiene una date, porque no lo va a ver por <laughs> otra cosa, lo va a ver porque está muriendo, right? So that would be an appointment, okay? Nice. Any other work? Stray. Stray. Straight after, straight after. My goodness, Sandra Gladys, your microphone, please. Thank you. Okay, uh, strain, what is that? Inmediatamente después. Mm -hmm. O sea, se va con el dedo. Strain, strain, okay, exactamente. Directamente después, right? So straight es como directo, ¿ok? Straight after, so, o sea que esta persona después que le llamó, ¿verdad? Al, al jefe, so inmediatamente called the doctor's clinic, ¿ok? So right away, straight after means like right away. Nice. Any other work? Waiting. Waiting. Hey, Waiting, okay, waiting, the waiting, waiting room, okay, uh, waiting, I drove to the cleaning and went into the waiting room, so waiting room is when you are waiting for someone, okay, wait is a verb, right, pero en este caso estamos hablando de la sala de espera, si ¿sí decimos, mm -hmm. la sala de espera, right, so waiting room, En toda clínica, en todo hospital, hay unas sillitas ahí donde uno tiene que estar ahí esperando hasta que lo llamen, right? So, ese es el waiting room, ¿ok? Waiting es espera, sala de espera. Um, this one, uh, aging. Um, we mentioned that this one is like adolorido, right? Adolorido, acongojado, resfriado. ¿Cómo dicen ustedes? Me siento... Constipado. Eh, constipado, adicusto. Eso, ¿verdad? Entonces ese es ancient, ¿ok? Usted está, se siente mal y todavía no sabe qué. Ya cuando usted sabe, usted ya no dice... Inching, sino que dice, I have third throw, I have a headache, I have a pain, I have a back shake. So usted dice que tiene right, el, el dolor, pero cuando usted no sabe, puede usar esa palabra. O sea, usted está adolorido, pero no sabe qué. Le duele el pelo, la uña, lo que sea. Right? So let's see. Vamos a leer una vez más. Ok, I will read it just one time. And please, uh, all the words 
There are just like two words, okay, que probably they are kind of new for some of you, okay? But then all those words, you already know them, okay? So they are not new. Uh, there are no new... Um, for this, okay? So let's see. Uh, two days ago, I woke up. Um, let me see, let me see. Yo no veo bien. Okay, it says, uh, two days ago, I woke up and I failed. Okay, failed. Feel, fail. Estamos hablando que estoy hablando en pasado, right? I felt terrible, terrible. Terrible, okay? My head was ancient and I had a bad feeling in my stomach. Um, I called my boss. I say that I could not work. Straight after, I called the doctor's clinic. The receptionist make an appointment for me at 10 a.m. I dropped to the clinic and went into the waiting room. I went up to the receptionist and told her my name. She asked me to take a seat. Okay, nice. Uh, questions about any pronunciation? No, okay, so let's see. Vamos a poner a leer a alguien más, pero quiero que me leamos bien, bien leidito. So if you see a coma, if you see a period, so stop for a while, right? So intonation is very important. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Gloria, Elizabeth, please read the first paragraph right here. Okay. <clears throat> Today ago, I woke up and I feel terrible. My head was aching and I had a bad feeling in my stomach. I called my boss. I say that I could not work. Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Nice. Continue with the reading. Let's see. Ada Patricia, please. Okay. A strange after I call it the doctor's clinic. The receptionist made an appointment for me at 10 a.m. I drove to the clinic and went into the waiting room. I went up to the receptionist and told her my name. She asked me to take a seat. Okay, perfect, thank you. Nice. Uh, look, what we are going to do right now based on this simple, short uh, reading that we have, now we know what is the meaning, now we already read it. So uh, we are going to do something, okay? I need, Two questions, okay? You need to write two questions based on the reading, okay? And you are going to ask those questions to somebody else, okay? So two questions. You have three minutes only to write down two questions based on the reading. As an example, at what time she has the appointment with the doctor? We have the answer there. So please, two questions only, okay? Can be a yes, no question, can be a WH question, but um, please uh, write down two questions. You have three minutes only.
Okay, we finish. Okay, let's see. Um, Rafael, choose one of your classmates and ask a, one of the questions, please. Sorry, teacher. Yeah, choose one of your classmates and ask one of your questions. Teacher, I don't, I, I understand uh, what activity. Uh, yeah, the, the idea is that you, do you already have your questions? Rafael, do you have your questions? For, for my. Yeah, do you have your questions based on this uh, reading? Yes. Okay, nice. Now that you have, uh, now that you have your questions, so choose one of your classmates, can be Lourdes, can be uh, Gloria, can be Angela, can be Osmin, can be Nelson, and you are going to ask one of your questions. Sí, teacher, es que no, no, no entendí eh, eh, about that. Oh. Mm -hmm. About the reading. Yes, but what type the, the question? Any question, yes, no question. Uh, uh, can be a can be a um, WH question, direct or indirect question. Okay. Okay, choose one of your classmates. And Nelson. Hello, give me a question. Okay. Um, teacher, how do you say enfermedad? Illness. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay. What is, oh, what was the Eastless? No. Where? Um, uh, he or she is it feel terrible is the is too much okay so okay. what kind of illness does she had that's your question rafael yo cuál fue la o cuál era la enfermedad Okay, what illness does she have? Does she have? Okay, okay so to whom? Rafael, to whom? Sorry? To whom is the question? I can send me, send me card to share. Okay, so who is the person that is going to answer your question? Say, say Nelson. Ah, okay, you say Nelson. Okay, Nelson, go ahead. Okay. Um, other, o, other people. Yep. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. other people. Nelson. Okay. Um, no, answer the question, Nelson. Me? Uh, a Rafael. Exactly. Okay. So okay. what 
What was uh, the illness that she has? Okay, in, in the in the illness, the she is uh, in in hatching in fear in in your stomach. Your stomach. In your stomach, yeah. Me? No. Hair. Is she? In hair. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. So be careful with the with the pronouns. Okay. Eso ya lo, ya lo sabemos. Okay. Yo no. Era ella, right? So in that case, uh, she has uh, aging and a bad feeling in hair stomach. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Teacher, yep. Excuse me. In the parable, uh, I don't identify is is she or he. In the parable, is yeah. General. In the in the paragraph, it doesn't it doesn't says right. So okay. we say she because of the picture, right? My yeah. goodness. Okay, uh, let's see, Adri, choose one of your classmates and ask a different question, please. Okay. Um, um, no orders. Okay. Okay, Adri. <laughs> Is the Lord what time is your uh, no what time is she appoint appointment with the doctor? Mama, yes, I'm what time? Um, uh, uh -huh. at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Complete answer, Lourdes. The appointment uh, was at 10 a.m. Okay, perfect. That can be right. Or her appointment was at, but mm -hmm. it's okay. It's okay like that. Okay, nice, perfect. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Rosa Elena, welcome. Okay, nice to see you, Rosa Elena. Please choose one of your classmates and the same story as one of your questions, please. Oh my God. Good evening, first of all. Good evening. Uh, Darwin. Darwin is paying attention. Of course. <laughs> if not, so. Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh my God. Mm. I think that the. the, the uh, who does she call when she feels bad? Why not? Mm -hmm. She, she feels. Who does she call? Oh. Because she a uh, bad feeling. Mm -hmm. Repeat the question one more time. Uh, yeah. Who does she call? Who? Mm -hmm. Who does she call when she when uh, when she feels bad? The question Darwin is who? W H O who? No, how it's who In, uh, the answer is because, but no, no, when you answer with because is when we have a why. Okay, cuando se le pregunta con why, la la la, la you, you answer because la 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 la. So, but the question is who, W H O. Who? Esto lo vieron allá como en marzo, niños. Who? Como se Who does she call, Darwin? Who does she call? After the stomach is the answer. Mm -hmm. After the word stomach. 
Darwin, when, when we use who? ¿Para quiénes uso yo el who? Para el cómo. No, eso sería how. ¿Para quién? ¿Quién? Ah, ok. Who, ok. Who does she call, right? ¿Quién? ¿Quién estaba enfermo? No. Who does she call? Ah, she called your boss? My boss? She boss. Uh -huh. She called? She called? Has? Ay, su de ella. Uh -huh. One moment, please. Hoy si no lo voy a dejar ir, niños. Ya veo. Castigado. Her boss. There you go. Okay. She called her boss. Your no, mi, 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 mi jefe, no, el de ella, right? Her boss. Okay. Vaya pues. <laughs> nunca los había, si nunca los habían regañado a esta hora. Ya. A toda hora. <risa> ya están acostumbrados. <risa> esto esto no, es bien básico. Esto es bien básico. Aquí no estamos viendo algo que sea nuevo. Esto no es nuevo. Esto se supone que ya lo, ya lo sabemos. Es que teacher se oía como que decía chico. Chico le entendía yo. Y yo no le había <risa> Sentido, ok, okay. But, but lo que era la clave ahí era el WH question. Who? Who? Ok, no. se está refiriendo a una no, persona. Ok, but yeah, don't worry. Ok, vamos a ver otro. Vamos a ver otro. Te lo vas a llevar. ¿Cómo? ¿Por qué? My goodness. Ya le va a pegar, ¿Eh? my. ¿Quién? Ah, claro. No, hombre, la, la nina ya está. La nina ya afuera estamos. Seguimos oyendo. Ya. Ya le puse mute. Ya veo que son curiosos. Usted está peleando ahí. Ok. So, Osmin. Vamos a ver. Osmin. Osmin. Choose one of your classmates, ask me, and ask one of your questions. The question is in relation to the sentences, yeah? Uh, yeah, you need to create your question based on the paragraph that we have, okay? Okay. Who drove the clinic? One more time. Who drove? The clinic. Uh -huh. But um, that question is like incomplete. Why? Because who drove the clinic? Mm, yeah. Ahí falta algo. Who drove? Who drove to the clinic too? Yeah. Okay, okay. So who, who uh, was, right? So probably who was uh, uh, yeah. driving or who was, who drive, okay? Who drive to the clinic? To the clinic, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, Sandra, please help us with the answer. Uh, how do she feel today? Mm, no, no, with the answer, uh, Sandra. Ah. Okay. 
forward the right to the clinic. Who? Who drive to the clinic? Who drive? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. We don't have a name, uh, Sandra. We don't have a name. She. She. Okay. She what? She what? Respuesta completa. She. She. She drove. Mm -hmm. She. She drove the clinic. To the clinic. Okay. She drove or. Um, she does, okay, podría ser, ella fue, right, so she does, the one, nice, okay, último, yo sé que todos quieren participar en esta masacre, pero, este, ya no hay mucho tiempo, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, Zulma, please, one of your questions and tell us to whom. Okay. Um, when she felt terrible for um, Angela. Okay, Angela. The question is when, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, can you repeat, please? Yes, uh, when she felt terrible. When she felt terrible. Um, when? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when, when, Oy, when? No, es que hoy no, hoy vamos a llegar a la medianoche. Vamos a repasar sí. lo que vimos allá en marzo. Ya me di cuenta. When eh, when she felt terrible. Uh, she she won. Eh, es que ese One moment, teacher. Ok, ok. Tengo que contestar bien porque... Es que when es como... ¿Cuándo? When. Ah, es que lo había entendido del verbo de go, ir o algo. Ajá. When, when she defer... Um... When does she defer... Um... Uh -huh, Angela. Es que no, ajá, es que. ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo? Ajá. Eh, she. She fell two days ago. Uh -huh. Es correcto. Uh -huh, kind of, ok. Because, yeah, it is a two days ago, but in real, when she woke up. Okay, uh -huh. when she woke up, she felt terrible. Okay, so the answer will be when it says when she felt terrible. Oh, she felt terrible when she, she terrible. Uh, woke up two days ago. Okay, Wait so, up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. so ya, hace dos días cuando se despertó, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so nice. Bueno, so we are going to stop here because this is not part of the of the book. Okay, so this is something extra. Okay, but the thing is that we need to uh, be able to. Este es el pasado simple. El pasado ayer medio medio estuve tocando con ustedes in 
clandestinamente presente simple. Hoy traje algo de pasado, pero esto ya se supone que esto ya lo vieron, ¿ok? Usted no se tiene que confundir entre los sujetos, ¿ok? Eh, allá cuando uno va empezando a un hombre le dice she, a una mujer le dice he, porque uno todo se confunde, right? So, pero ya a estas alturas ya no se puede uno confundir. Allá cuando uno va empezando, uno a todos le dice your, 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 pero no es mío, o sea, no soy yo, tiene que decir él, ella, his, her, or, nosotros, their, ellos, ok? So, los subjects, los pronouns y todo eso usted lo tiene que tener bien afilado, bien afilado, porque imagínese usted hablando con alguien y le diga, ah, dice, eh, está hablando de otra persona, oh, this is your boyfriend, y es el boyfriend de la otra persona, no de esa, ok, o sea, cositas como, como por un pronombre, yo ya le cambio todo el sentido a lo que a lo que estoy hablando, right? So be careful, be careful because as I told you, that is something that you already cover, okay? Esto es solamente así un vago repaso para que ustedes traten de acordarse de estos tiempos, okay? En este caso es el simple present, okay? um, simple past, I'm sorry, okay? But, uh, I guess that you have access to the platform, right? Yo creo que si les deja ver los módulos anteriores o no, la plataforma. No lo no he intentado yes. esa teacher, yes. pero podría yes. ser. Yes, teacher. Sí, sí, yo honestamente no sé, pero yo tengo el récord ahí de todos los módulos en los que yo he estado, pero no sé si a ustedes sí se les. Ok, so. Look for that info, okay? So you have everything there, okay? So you have the books as well. So take a look on that, okay? Y no quiere meterse a la plataforma porque muy aburrido, porque mucho cuesta. Mire, en TikTok, en vez de que siga babosadas que no le traen nada bueno, busque en TikTok clases de inglés. Ahí en 30 segundos le explican. Algo que usted lleva tres horas queriendo aprender. Ahí metan. Les digo hoy TikTok, porque todo es TikTok. O sea, todo está allí. Ok. So, ya ni YouTube para ver clases, porque las de YouTube son de una hora y no tenemos una hora en estos dorados tiempos de nuestra vida ajetreada. Entonces, por eso es que sí existe TikTok, porque le resumen todo en 30 segundos. Ok. So. Do it, okay? Do it. Look for those pages, okay? If you use any social media, any app, okay, for you to, for you to um, be in contact, okay? If you don't have TikTok, so you have Facebook. ¿Qué miren Facebook usted? Solo la cosas que nada que, que nada que nos interesen, ver la foto que subió el vecino, ver si el, la subió bien o ver si sale pando, ver si sale bien. No, busque ahí en, en Facebook también, métase a grupos de inglés. Eh, como dicen, lo que uno ve es lo que a uno, esto de las redes sociales, si usted pensando está en espejos y ahí le empiezan a salir espejos. Okay, so for everything, right? So please uh, do your part, okay? So yo no lo puedo obligar y yo aquí no estoy regañando a nadie, pero eh, I'm giving you some advices, okay? Some advices that you can uh, take into account, okay? Usted pasa en Instagram viendo quién lo sigue, a quién lo sigue, quién lo sigue a usted. Siga páginas de maestros de inglés, siga páginas de gramática, siga páginas que le van a dar algo de lo que usted está aprendiendo en este caso, ¿ok? Todas las redes sociales en donde usted se meta, hasta esas de buscar pareja, busque una pareja en inglés y, y escríbale ahí que lo quiere conocer, que la quiere conocer en inglés. Para que practique, ¿ok? So... Everything, no excuses, ok, no excuses, ahí está todo, ok, para todos los gustos, ok. So, después de este corto saludo, 
Una de teacher. <risa> Después de este corto regaño, no, no los esté regañando. No, los puedo, no sería capaz yo de regañarlos. Bueno, algunos Bien, quizás dale. sí. Ay, teacher, <risa> no. <risa> algunos quizás sí. Aunque sean así de grandes, regañado también. Como de dos metros, dice usted. Como de dos metros. Sí, no, en serio, en serio. Fíjense que eso ayuda un montón. Meterse, al, o sea, porque es mentira que uno no va a usar Facebook, Instagram. A veces uno, porque pues sí, no ya es costumbre, eso, right? So, uh -huh. Pero sigan uh -huh. páginas de esas. Créanme que yo me he quedado impactada con unos TikTok que he visto. O sea... A mí esa, esa aplicación casi no me gusta porque solo cosas que, que nada que ver, porque uno no aprende nada, pero hay de, hay de darle like o seguir a las páginas que sí. They have something, ok? So, let's see. My goodness, I have to pass the attendance. No hemos visto nada. Quiero ver. So we need to continue with this and we have to continue also with the midterm quiz. So this is what we have in the book, okay? So this is the vocabulary. Um, we are going to present these words, okay? So we have these four works and um, it says go online to find out more about the key terms, okay? So cuando regresemos de pasar el attendance, So, vamos a dividir cuatro grupos y ustedes me van a ex explicar qué significan esas palabritas, ¿ok? So, let me, let me pass the attendance first, please, antes que se me pase el tiempo. Um, ¿Dónde está la attendance? Oh, ahí está. Ok, so, uh, let's see, Ada Patricia. Present. Thank you, Adri y Stephanie. Present, teacher. Thank you, Anna Michelle. Present. Thank you, uh, Angela. Present, teacher. Thank you, Darwin. Present. Thank you, uh, Flor de Maria. Present. Thank you, Flor. Uh, Gloria. Here. Thank you, Gloria. Joanna Patricia. Joanna, 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 Joanna. Esta niña ya, ya quedó fuera porque ya no llega, creo yo, al tiempo. Lourdes Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Margarita. No. Uh, Mayra Melanie. Mayra, creo que va driving. Um, Nelson Edgardo. Present. Thank you. Uh, Ofelia Orellana. Ofelia. Uh, Osmin Baires. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rafael Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Rosa Elena. Present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Susana Carolina. Susana, Susana, Susana. No, pareció ver que estaba. Jancy Lisbeth. Present. Thank you, Jancy. Um, Zulma. Rosa. Present. Present. Okay, thank you. Perfect. So let's continue, okay? So I will give you just a few, a few, a few minutes for you to complete this activity because we have to check <coughs> together the, the midterm, okay? So the midterm. So we will try to... Um, Uh, to see the, 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 the exercise that we have and we will try to answer, okay? So we will do it together, okay? So I'm going to create four groups. Let me see. I need four groups, okay? So it will be one, four, five, and then... Quedan tres de cuatro y uno de cinco. 
Bueno, todos quedan de cuatro, porque en uno estoy yo. So, uh, let's see. Uh, group number one. Let me see qué es la picture. Uh, group number one would be Ana Michelle, Darwin, Sandra, and Jancy Lisbeth. So you are going to uh, investigate what is, uh, can be your belt, okay? Give, gave us an example, a definition, and if it is possible, um, what is in your own words, simple words. Group number two is Angela, Flor de Maria, Lourdes, Beatriz, and Rafael, okay? So you are going to be a uh, book production. <coughs> book production okay definition examples and what is in simple words uh group number three we have ada patricia adriana gloria and sulma so you are going to be manual labor and the group number four that is nelson ophelia osmin and rosa elena you are machine hours okay so let's do it okay you have four minutes only okay look for the work uh look for examples or ideas on online you can use your phone or any device that you have to uh, present that work okay are we clear about what we are going to do yep 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 yes Okay, so let me open the rooms, okay? No se me enojen, no se me enojen. No me quieren contestar. Solo porque los he regañado. No, no. No, teacher, no. Thank you, teacher. Están resentidos ahora en el viernes. No, teacher. Estamos apenados quizás en, en mi caso, en my case. No, 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 no. We are on time. You are on time, but you have to do it, ¿ok? So yo les puedo decir, mire, haga esto, haga lo otro, haga esto y algo, pero si usted no lo hace, pues estamos en lo mismo, right? So you have to do your part. You are the student, ¿ok? You are the one that is interested in learning. You are the one that is um, doing this effort. Usted es el que está aquí desvelándose, aguantando hambre, aguantando sueño, que valga la pena, right? So that's the point. So let me open the rooms, okay? So we have four minutes only. Sure. Yeah. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Entendí. Okay, so what we are going to do is uh, look for the work, okay? Group number one, two, three, and four. I already mentioned the word and I will share the... I'm going to sh share right here the, the picture in the WhatsApp group. And what you are going to do is search for the meaning, the definition for the word. And if it is possible, you can provide some examples, okay? So about that work. Um, I already shared the picture right there in the group, okay? So let me open the rooms right here. Joana Patricia. Joana Patricia. Joana Patricia, hello, can you hear me? Hola, teacher, hi. Oh my goodness. Pensando en usted estaba que no había venido. Sí. Me acabo de unir porque ahora tenía una defensa en la, en la universidad, así que me okay. voy viendo ahorita. Ok, uh -huh. so do you have your camera, right? Sí, ok. Oh. Nice. Yo 
Joana, Joana. Ok, la voy a unir ahorita a un grupo para que trabaje con ellos, ok. Ahorita la vamos a unir al grupo 1. No, pero, pero, buscar ahorita, pero déjeme anotarlas para buscarlas porque es con... solo es la primera. A nosotros nos tocó solo la primera. Ah, Sol, ya ve que no le entendí ni Pepa. Solo la primera palabra, vamos a buscar la definición y vamos a hacer un ejemplo. Hi, teacher. Hello. I'm here. A mí me parece can, can be a bell y cinta transportadora. ¿Cómo? Transportadora. Cinta, transport cinta transportadora. Ah. No sé si a ustedes les aparece algo diferente. Ahorita, ahorita estoy en el traductor, espérame. Con becho. Con becho. Pero... Hola, ¿cuál palabra están buscando? Con sí, becho. Ay. Con becho. Con Sí, sí, transportadora dice. Vaya. Pero que no sé, ¿qué es lo? Ah, es la de las, donde pasan las maletas. Ajá, puede ser un ejemplo así. Puede ser esa, fíjate que usted va de viaje, hay traveling, hay <ríe> traveling and checking. Eh, ¿Qué? ¿Cómo se dice? Hay un airport. In the area, checking maletas. <risas> Cierto. También las cintas transportadoras creo que son, por ejemplo, donde, si es una banda, donde van las, vaya, por ejemplo, la, las galletitas van en una banda y van pasando a que les vayan poniendo como los... Ajá, los... la cosa es que es una cinta donde van transportando ya sea objetos o Ajá. La, 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 bandas transportadoras. Es una banda de tela de caucho o metal en movimiento continuo que se usa para mover objetos de un lugar a otro. Es una banda transportadora. Mm -hmm. Bye, ya Bye. tenemos la definición. Hagamos la oración entonces. A Solo una oración y vamos a hacer. Y vamos, teníamos que poner ejemplos. Ejemplos. Sí. Pero ¿cómo ejemplos? Ejemplos de una banda transportadora, así como el que usted dijo, donde van las maletas en el aeropuerto. Ese es un ejemplo.
Okay. Okay, nice. Uh, we are in the main room right now. So let's see. I'm going to share the screen one more time. Okay, here we go. So let's see what we have, okay? So remember, this is a nice exercise because these words are not really common. So estas palabras no las va a ver todos los días, right? So they are weird words, okay? So this is an example of what we can do every time that we see a new work. Okay, I told you this uh, since the very first day of class. Did you remember I told you, please, every time that you see a new work, please write it down, search for the meaning, look for the meaning, try to understand using examples for the work and use the word. So así es como se aprende uno el vocabulario, right? But if you don't look for the meaning or you don't look for example sentences okay where you can apply and use the word so you will never uh, increase your vocabulary okay so let's see uh, number one uh, this one can be your belt group number one go ahead Uh -huh. The conveyor belt, the definition is banda transportadora. Uh -huh. For example, uh -huh. mention, Jancy. Okay, the example is at the airport, my suitcase goes through a cover belt. Uh, this is the example. The definition is a continuous moving band of fabric, rubber, or metal used for moving of objects from one place to another. Okay, perfect. So that is the can be your bill. So it's like the a line, right? Where the products you can put the products and they are like running or moving by their because of the bill, right? And they use it like in factories, right? For example, have you ever seen how they um, how they like produce Coca Cola, for example? So there is a huge process, but at the end, all the Coca Cola's uh, bags or bottoms are like in a bale, right? That will be a conveyor bale. So they are like moving the product, okay? And they are putting like the stickers or like the uh, closing the, the, the bottoms or whatever it, the product can be, right? So nice, okay. Let's see, number two, group number two, we have book production. What is that? Okay, mm -hmm. bulk production is simple, the actual production so when we reference bulk production, it means uh, actual production or final production. Bulk production is the final product being produced based on the actual order requirements. Is the final mm -hmm. and actual production that is plain to cheap. Okay, do, do we example? have any example? Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, when you when you buy uh, rice, for example, you can uh, you can uh, say uh, the the sell the seller. Mm -hmm. uh, I need a rice uh, bulk because you don't need a a bag of five pounds, for example. Uh, you you only need a, a bag of rice. And, okay. And only that. 
Okay. So that is like, like, like you mentioned, right? Like the final product, okay? Remember that everything is related with production, right? So as I told you, probably these topics are not really important or interesting for us, but let's take advantage of the works, right? So that we are learning something new and probably can help you in your, in your job, right? So that would be the bulk production. So like the final product, right? So the result. Nice. Let's continue. Uh, manual labor. Number three, what is that? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the manual labor or manual work uh, is psychical work done by humans in contrast to labor by machines and working animals. And it is most literally work done with the hands. And the word manual comes from the Latin word from hand. And by figure extension, it is work done with any of, of the muscle and bones of the body. And some, some examples some are a construction worker, agriculture, carpentry, plumbing, plumbing, etc. Okay, okay, so that would be the manual labor. So that means people doing the job, right? So with their hands and everything, okay? So, and the other, the ones that we, we use uh, machine labor, right? So that is not a person, a lie, a human being doing something, it's a machine, right? So that would be the opposite. Nice, let's see the last one, machine uh, hours. Hey teacher, let me let me share something. Okay, sure. Okay, I'm reading this. Machine hours. A machine hours is a mes measurement used to apply factory overhead to manufactured goods. It is most applicable in machine intensive environments where the amount of time spent in processing by a machine is the largest activity of upon which overhead allocations can be based. When there are few machines in production, it is more common for labor hours to be the basis, the basis upon which factory overhead is allocated to produce goods. And let there are, yeah, let me. And there is a, it's like a mathematic, Cal calculo, I don't remember. Yeah. And mm -hmm. ah, there, there is an example, yeah. an ex a yeah. machine. Uh -huh. There is an example, like a machine hour. A widget consumes one hour of machine times during the month. Machines were used for a total of 1,000 hours. In the period, the company incurred um, $20,000 of factory overhead. Based on, on this information, the amount of overhead to be allocated to the widget is, and there is a the, the mathematic. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we, there are these words, factory overhead and overhead allocation. Nelson is going to read because, okay, the, here is factory overhead and here is overhead allocation. Okay. Uh -huh, Nelson? It, it is an example is the form and use when applied in, in next question. The fixed over overhead right form. A fixed overhead <coughs> over output for machine or is variable also overhead right form. Variable overhead is output for machine or is a the example. Okay. It's a, it's a photograph is, for example, in the car, when it, 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 the car uh, consumes uh, gas oil uh, in the, in the, well, I don't remember the word, um, and the display in the, the car is, um, I don't remember. 
eh, se despega el, el total de kilómetros. Depende del gasto y la distancia. El cálculo. En ok, the, so that display. would be the that would be the machine hours, right? So that would be like the math, as you mentioned, right? To calculate the time that you spend on something, okay? So it will give you like the final result, right? Okay, yeah. nice. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you for uh, the presentation as well. Nice. So we have, let's see what time is it? It's almost. 9.30, my goodness, and we have to see the, the, the midterm quiz, okay? Just let me open right here the, the platform. As I told you, uh, I'm not gonna give you the answers, okay? So if you haven't um, complete this, so you can do it, okay? I don't know if you are using another device like to be in this class and I don't know if you use a computer for the uh, platform, but we can do it together. So that's the idea, right? So that's the idea. So let's see section number two, midterm quiz, it says right here. Midterm four questions, midterm exam. So let me share the screen one more time. Okay, I guess, yeah, you are seeing the screen. So um, let's see, uh, this is the midterm, right? So let's see, um, since we already learned all of this, so it will be easy for us, right? So we have four parts, let's try to do the first one, okay? So it says part number one, choose the correct work, okay? Please read the full sentence or question M, just the one that you consider that is, uh, the answer, okay? So let's see who, um, let's see, Sandra Gladys, please, number one. Uh, he wanted to study in a university. Are uh, 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 Okay, so the answer for you is this one, right? Awful. Okay, he went to study in a university, although he went to uh, Chevet University last month. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see. Number two, uh, Lourdes, uh, Beatriz, please. Number two. Okay. Ali was driving very fast yesterday. Um, Ali was driving very fast yesterday. Uh, uh, for this reason, the police gave him a ticket. Okay, let's see. Ali was driving very fast yesterday for this a uh, reason the police gave him a ticket, okay? So we will see the answers later, okay? Number three, Flor de Maria, please. Flor, you are on mute. You are on mute, Flor. I don't know what happened with Flor. Okay, uh, I don't know, Flor. I'm not able to Listen, you have your audio off. Uh, let's see, Mayra Melanie, welcome, thank you. 
Okay. okay, so. Number three. Number three, let me put it one more time. Are you seeing the screen? No, not yet. My goodness. Okay, yeah, yeah. please, uh, yeah. Mayra, Melanie. Okay, number three, I'll thought Qatar is a small country. It is very rich. Okay, also, also Qatar, it's a small country. It is very rich. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, uh, Ophelia, number four. Ophelia. Ophelia, Ophelia, Ophelia. What happened with you, Ophelia? Yes, I'm sharing the screen right now. The quality is to or to be or present is not too small. Uh, Mo mover. Okay, so this one moreover. The politician it's too old to be our president. Uh moreover, he is not trustworthy. Trustworthy. Guess is uh, trustworthy. It's increíble. Mm -hmm. Trustworthy, confiable, right? Confiable, trustworthy. Okay, nice. Uh, Jan C. Lisbeth, please, number five. Number five is I like man, and I like things as well. Okay, I like math and I like science as well. So uh, let me submit the answers and see if we get it correctly, okay? Uh, number one, it's incorrect, okay? So if it is not the one also, what would be the answer? Let's see, Rafael. As a result. As a result. Okay, let me submit it one more time. And um, yeah, that's the one, okay? So as a result, number two is correct. Number three, we have it correctly. Number four and number five, okay? So let's continue. We have the part number two, okay? Part number two, let's see. Uh, it says, uh, choose the best answer based on the definitions, okay? choose the best answer based on the definitions, okay? Based on the definitions, okay? Uh, let's see, Angela, please, number one. Okay. <clears throat> um, cost. Customer use or sign and handle one product, then another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Um, mm -hmm. Prefer. Monaric method, parece. Monaric method. Aire, comparison test. Which one? I'm sorry. Eh. 
excited? Pair, pair comparison test. Okay, so that one. Uh, one moment, teacher. Okay, okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, so leave it like that, okay? Let's leave it like that. So let's continue, okay? So, Susana? No, it's not here. Okay, uh, Darwin, please help us with the number two. Number two, consumer use the product in real circumstance. They use a product since it handled in a rated letter. It use test. Use a test, okay? So don't worry, we will see the answers at the end, okay? Osmin Baires, please, number three. Read these uh, statements, bilance, and choose the best, the verb form that agrees with the subject. Number three, um, Osmin. Yeah. Uh, some of the participants in the testing group has. Has? Yeah. Okay, not uh, right. Aquí está unido esto, pero aquí sería not right yet. Okay, so uh, nice. Let's see. Um, let's see. Okay, Mayra, Melanie, go ahead. Number four. <laughs> Number four. One of the factors to decide on the best type of test is the characteristics of the product itself. Okay. So the answer if. is is. Okay. Nice. Let's see the next one. Gloria Elizabeth, please. Number okay. five. A number of customers is satisfied with the performance of the new mob. Okay, a number of customers is comes customers, right? Is hmm, I'm saber. Um, number one, it's correct. Number two is not. So let's see. Rosa Elena, what would be the number two is if it is not used test? So what would be? It's the monadic method. Monadic method? Yeah. Okay, so let, let's check. And number three, uh, let's see Nelson. Somos some of participants in testing group have not arrived yet. Yeah, right. So because look, this one is plural. Yeah, okay, plural. that's why. Okay, let Teacher, me uh, read. Submit. Yes, this is the part number two for the midterm. Okay, so let's continue with the third part. So third uh, part number three says select the best option. Okay. So Adri, Stephanie, number one. Okay. Lisa, Lisa, Liz, Lisa has Lisa. not been to friends. Has not been, been to friends. To friends. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's see, Rafael, number two. 
Number two is they can talk. Have have you finished your work? Have your you finished homework? your homework? Have you finished your homework? Okay, number two. Let's see. Ada Patricia, number three. Okay. Excuse me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Number three. They yep. gone a rock concert. Okay, so what would be the answer? Apostrophe S, apostrophe E S, or apostrophe V E? V E. This one? Yes. Okay, nice. Uh, number four, uh, Sulma. He let you know because I come back. Because, okay, so we will see the answers. Uh, let's see, the next one will be for. Um, ya no sé a quién preguntarle. Eh, Gloria, Gloria, Elizabeth. Number, number five. Uh -huh. Okay. If you stop crying, I'll do it. I buy you an ice cream. Okay. Um, so if, okay, let's submit the answers right here. And we have number one correctly, number two, number three, number four, it's not the correct one. So Mayra, Melanie, so how will be number four? Number four is after the answer. Okay, so I will let you know after I can come back, okay? Nice, let's move on to the last part. I guess this is the last one. This is the part number four and it says, Choose the name of the steps in the process of developing a new product. Uh, let's see, Rosa Elena, number one. Once the idea has been complete, the product must be taken to a location where customers can get it. This uh, commercialization. Okay, commercialization. Uh, let's see, Nelson, number two. Uh, by some uh, idea generation. Idea generation, okay. Um, Ophelia, number three. You has to what shape? I concern the velos and testing. Okay, you have asked for this one concept developing and testing. Okay, nice. Thank you. Teacher, put shape, checking the and two. idea generation. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Idea generation. Okay, nice. Um, Osmin, Osmin, please, number four. Okay, okay, number four. Number four, excuse me. Uh, in this stage, the search has to be conducted in order to be sure that the product will be accepted, accepted. Mm -hmm. Test marketing. Test marketing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Three teacher. Okay. Go ahead. It present the model product to be appreciate appreciate as a wallet be the potential customer is a launch. Okay, thank you. Let's submit the answers. 
Um, yes, it is great. Okay, so with this, I guess we complete this um, quiz. If you see, it's not like a big deal. Okay, so aquí no le van a venir a preguntar de algo que eh, no hemos visto o algo de otro mundo, right? So all the answers are based on what we cover in the unit number one and unit number three, okay? So we still have a couple of minutes, so let me share the screen because we haven't completed the, 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 these activities, okay? So we have to do it, okay? So this one's... Yeah, this one is put it in order. So this is another activity that I have today. So let's talk about your how, hometown or village. Okay, the idea is talking. Ya leímos, right? Ya leímos. Hoy tenemos que hablar. So let's talk about your uh, hometown or village. What is a uh, hometown or village? Do you know the difference? No. Uh huh. Rosa Elena, what is hometown or village? Maybe hometown. <laughs> hometown. Like. <laughs> hometown. I don't know. Maybe hometown is in the city. No. No. It is. Yeah. Okay, it is. Remember yeah. that the hometown will be, how we say that, okay? So that is your, the area, okay? The area where ah, you yeah. live, okay? So that is your hometown, okay? So here in El Salvador, we have Colonia, we have Residencial, we have, eh, okay? Barrio, lo que sea, right? So the, the area, the close oh. area in your area that will be your hometown or your village, neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Han escuchado mm -hmm. eso, verdad? Neighborhood. Yes, neighborhood. Yeah, okay. Hometown is in the city and village is in the out of the city. Out of the city uh -huh. can be, okay? That will depend yeah. where you live, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess we all live in a hometown, right? So the neighborhood, so lo que le están preguntando es about your neighborhood, what kind of place it is, uh, what is the most interesting part of your uh, town or your village, what kind of jobs do the people in your town village do, would you say it's a good place to live and why? Okay, so right now we have like 10 minutes only, okay? So the idea is that we need to answer these questions, okay? So we need to answer these questions based on your, okay? On your place, okay? So let's see, we will do it in pairs. Así nos ayudamos. Déjenme take a screenshot. Okay, so what we are going to do? Hagamos uno nada más para que no les quede a uno, sino que lo vamos a hacer en, en parejillas. Okay? So what you are going to do? Answer this about you. Como van a estar en pareja, uno de los dos deciden o oh, no es necesario poner la información exacta, right? So you can invent. Ah, invent. Lo que yo quiero es que escriba, right? So no importa si es verdad o es mentira que haya ahí un, un parque, una iglesia, lo que sea, right? So what I need is you write something, okay? You need to write something according to your village or your hometown, okay? So let me see right here, the rooms. My goodness, creo que ya no nos va a dar tiempo, okay? Y no quiero que les quede esto de, 
the homework, okay? So probably on Monday, so we are going to continue, okay? Because we have less than, less than 10 minutes, okay? I have to pass the attendance and everything. So if you want, let me just, I'm going to send the, the picture right here in the WhatsApp group, just for us to keep it. And on Monday, we are going to, we are going to continue from this part, okay? So the idea is you need to talk, okay? You need to express your ideas. You need to use the language and everything, okay? So um, let's see, uh, before to go out, okay? So we are 1916, 17, habemos 17, okay? So look, um, as I told you, I know we are learning, I know we are in the process, but please uh, write your notes, review your notes. I know that you are busy people, okay? Yo créame, yo les veo las caras y yo todos los veo bien ocupados, trabajadores, that you are, are running aquí y allá y, y, y si uno anda hasta mechudo, no es porque uno no se peine, es porque uno ha estado bien ocupado y ni tiempo de peinarse le ha quedado, right? So a mí me pasa, de repente, eh, eh, no es que no me bañe, no me peine, sino que uno corre por aquí, corre por allá y, y, y eso, right? So I know, I know, okay? But uh, at this point, okay? No sé, he venido regañón ahora. <laughs> But the thing is that we need to improve, okay? We need to improve, okay? So in, if we don't start now, so in the future will be too late, okay? Believe it or not, uh, next year you will be in advanced level, okay? So advanced level, it is advanced. So that means that you need to understand you need to talk, you need to write, you need to read correctly, okay? So obviously we need to practice, okay? And I know that here in El Salvador is not easy to practice English outside. No llegaron del vecino, hello, good morning, my neighbor, how are you? Este viejo está loco al decir el vecino, ya se le pelan los cables, right? So it is kind of complicated, right? No va a llegar usted así, but um, right here in the class, we have two hours, less than two hours to practice. And if we don't use the language, so we are like, you know, um, we are like, you know, Lost, lost in the, the opportunity, the only opportunity that we have, okay? That's why I do recommend to do your part, okay? So last week I told you, switch the language in your phone. No me contesten porque no quiero enojarme. Pero contestes usted solito. Did you change the language? Be honest, a mí me puede engañar, pero usted solito no se engaña, okay? Did you change uh, the language in your phone for the ones that was uh, work with the phone in Spanish? Did you really use the, the phone in English? Did you um, change the language on your TV? Are you uh, watching movies with the subtitles in English? or without subtitles, but in English, okay? Because that is your part, okay? Yo no le estoy mandando, mire, leas este gran almanaque de gramática, porque es mentira, no lo vamos a leer si estamos ocupados. But, uh, en algún momento de su vida, usted tiene que ver la televisión. O sea, que para ver cartoons por su niño, por su niña, whatever. So, póngale a su niño los videos en inglés. Usted puede decir, no, porque es que el niño no va a entender. Le aseguro que el niño va a aprender sin necesidad de clases, right? So, póngalos en inglés y ahí que vean ellos. Si no entienden, mala suerte, pero usted necesita tener todo en inglés, ¿ok? If you like music, 
Okay. En inglés we have all kind of music. Okay. Hasta los perreos intensos lo puede poner en inglés. Okay. So no excuses. No excuses. Okay. So we can do our part. Okay. So as I told you, I can give you tips. I can give you um, extra information. But if you don't read it, if you don't study, so it is kind of difficult, right? It is because uh we are learning okay we are learning english in a country that most of the people talk in spanish outside so if you have someone in your family or if you have a friend that knows english so practice practice with that with that person okay um even though you don't understand everything but try to do it try to do um something in english okay so i gave you for example the, the go ahead russ it's the moment for listening christmas christmas carols right now there <laughs> you go there you go this is the time okay so Jingle bells. Who, jingle bells. Who knows a, a song in English? Quién se puede una canción de Navidad en inglés? No, verdad. Las podemos ahí. Navidad, Navidad, Blanca, Navidad. En español hasta ni, ni necesitan ya la, la cantan, right? So why we don't know a, a Christmas song in English? Because we don't we don't listen there, okay? So this is the time for you to look for your own okay look for your own uh we can do it okay alguien puede decir es que la teacher piensa que nosotros no tenemos nada que hacer no i know that you are extremely busy okay but you need to do your part as a student okay so how many phrasal verbs do you know from the 100 list that we shared last week. Era una lista de 100. ¿Cuántos se ha aprendido hasta el momento de esa lista? Ah, no sé si, si ni la guardé, va a decir. Okay. So that is, that is the, the challenge that we have. You know what is a challenge, right? So that is the challenge that we have, okay? We need to do our part, okay? Como yo no quisiera decirle, mire, aquí está la pastilla del inglés. Tómesela y mañana va a ver. Como no quisiera yo decirle, mire, aquí está la pócima. Dos gotitas antes de la clase y usted habla como perico en inglés. No, eso no existe, okay? So we need to do our part. We need to study. We need to be on the same page, okay? So, and that is what we need, okay? So be in the class, okay? Be in the class. And if you are not in the class, miren, ahí pongo yo, saben que ahí me aparece en el canal de YouTube cuántas vistas. Tienen los videos de nosotros. Es bien triste porque a veces no vengo a la clase, pero no ven el video porque ahí no me dice que lo han visto. Ok, so that's, that's uh, what I mean, right? So no quiero, en serio, no, no me lo tomen a mal que yo no regaño a nadie. Sí. You are exhausting <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm just giving you a couple of advices, okay, because um, you need to increase your level, okay, so de perdido agarro un diccionario y vea la letra A y, y de, vea de toda la lista cuáles palabras no se puede, uy, esto qué es, me voy a la letra, letter D, me voy, uy, aquí en el día hay un montón de palabras que yo no sé. So, ¿cómo aprender vocabulario y cómo agarrar new words? We have many, many, many ways, ¿ok? Algún día alguien me mande, tal vez, no sé, mire, tiche, ¿cómo tengo de post-its aquí en mi cuarto? Pero usted dijo que pusiéramos las palabras en todos lados. Mire, aquí están, mire, todos. ¿Ok? So, that is something 
that you can do, ¿ok? So, ¿quién no tiene un pedazo de papel, le pone un pedazo de tierra y lo pega ahí en la pared y pone ahí la palabra? Todos los días la va a estar viendo. Le aseguro que se le va a quedar forever and ever, ¿ok? You will never forget it. But if you don't do it, that, so, vio la palabra, no sabía qué era, pero I don't care. Ahí quedó. Yo sigo usando las mismas palabras de siempre. Porque no agarro más. Ok. So that is my advice. Ok. So do your part. We are doing nice. Yes. Ok. And something that I really like from the group is that you always participate. Ok. Eso es excelente de este grupo. Hay otros grupos que me han tocado que me han dicho. Mire, a mí no me ande preguntando que yo no le voy a contestar. So, yo no le puedo obligar, ¿verdad? Ya que alguien me diga sí, es como mi modo, no le puedo preguntar porque se enoja. Entonces, pero aquí ustedes, uh, o sea, hasta el momento nadie me ha dicho, mire, a mí no me pregunta. O sea, ah, como de lugar, usted me intenta contestar y me contesta. Y eso es bueno, ¿ok? So, aquí no, no hay así como que, no, yo no hablo. Aquí todos hablan, o sea, de una o de otra manera, algo dicen en cada clase, o sea, leer un pedacito, pero algo, ok, nadie se va sin, sin decir, mire, yo, aunque me apaguen las cámaras algunos, pero ahí trato de ver que si están con vida o no están con vida, ¿verdad? Pero eh, eso es bueno, so we have, we have the, the, the willing, Ok, we have the willing to learn. Ok, so take advantage of that willing and do extra things. Ok, and at the end you will realize that uh, you can increase your vocabulary, you can improve your pronunciation, you can uh, learn more terms and everything. Ok, so that's my opinion, right? So that's my opinion. Créame que yo quisiera no sé, el otro año encontrármelos allá en el, en el avanzado y, y volverlos a tener a ustedes y, y eso, y saludarlos. Eso espero, ¿verdad? No quiero que me... No, si se fue. No, ya no quiso seguir. No, ya llegó hasta... Ya le hizo frente un año, ya la regó porque ya se metió en este lío y ahora tiene que hacerle frente por no decirle otra palabra. Este, eso. I have to pass the attendance, my goodness. Hoy sí voy a soñar, teacher. Sí, bien regañado. Ya todos los que iban a ir de parranda ya no van a salir ahora. Van a quedar no. estudiando. Bien. Omar, razón. Vamos a ir a dormir. Finish the day. Ada. Ada, Patricia. Omar, razón. Voy a ir de parranda. Hoy van a agarrar zumba. Adriana Estefan. Peligrosa, teacher. Present. Ana Michelle, my goodness. Present. Thank you, Hola, Angela. Present, teacher. Ahogar, Present. ahogar la pena, Darwin. Present, teacher. Thank you, Darwin Flor de María. Present. Thank you, Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you, Joana Patricia. Lourdes Beatriz. Present. Margarita Stephanie. Thank you, Lourdes. Margarita. Uh, Mayra Melanie, Present Nelson teacher. Edgardo, Present Ofelia, thank you, thank you. Ya sé que estamos aquí. Osmin Baires, ahí está. Yes, yes, good night. Rafael Ernesto. Yes, thank you. Uh, Rosa Elena. Present. Thank you, Sandra Gladys. Eh, Susana Carolina. Susana me pareció que estaba, pero es que no sé. Susana Carolina. No, ¿verdad? O oh, sí. No me ha contestado en ninguna de las tres veces que está, pero a mí me pareció ver que decía el nombre de ella, pero no me respondió en ninguna Atenas. Jancy Lisbeth. Thank you, and Zulma Rosaura. Ok, nice. So, ¿quién es el que se queda depelándose conmigo hoy? Eh, Sandra, Sandra Gladys, ok. Regáleme unos minutillos de su tiempo, please. 
Ok, no la voy a regañar, no se preocupe, ya el regaño ya pasó. Nah, mentira. <risa> ok, eh, ¿a dónde está Sandra, 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 Sandra? Se fue. Se fue a dormir. Vaya, bueno. Quiero ver. Se puede dar las penas. Sí, entonces, ¿quién sigue? Susana no está. Eh, Yancy Lisbeth. Le van a donar a usted la, el espacio, Yancy. Porque no sé qué le pasó. Sandra se salió. Ok, no problema. Ok, bien. So, ya le robé dos minutos de su tiempo. Enjoy your weekend. Do something interesting. Uh, do something for fun. Ok. Eh, si toma no maneje, si maneja no tome, este, disfruten su fin de, please work in the platform, voy a revisar el domingo más tardar por la mañana, tienen que estar sus notas, no me va a salir ahí con 40%, 80%, porque este, tienen que ir al día, ok, al día hasta el midterm, ok, so, um, thank you, ok, no era regaño, no se enojen. Algunos los veo hasta fruncidos de aquí. Fruncidos de aquí. Porque los han regañado. Pero no, no es regaño. Osmi, no, se, no se esponje Darwin. Este, es solo un, un consejo sabio. ¿Verdad? Y, y no, sí no, se no, puede. I, I am happy. Ok. I am ok. Happy okay. Como, me vi que estaba hasta así de aquí. Bien fruncido. Bien. Thank you, teacher. Ok, no, no problem, ok. Igual, miren, si necesitan ayuda en algo, dinero no tengo, miren, no me escriba, miren, me presta unos 50 mil. No, yo dinero no tengo. Pero si usted necesita ayuda, me refiero a, mire, este tema me puede escribir. No le prometo tal vez responderle en el mismo instante, pero de que le voy a responder, le voy a responder, así sea la una Muy de bien. la mañana, ¿ok? But I will do it, ¿ok? I will do it, ¿ok? So, study, please, review the topics, review the information that you have, ¿ok? So, see you on Monday. Okay, nos tenemos dos semanas para afilarnos bien, niños. Ok. So, see you on Monday. Ok. Enjoy your weekend. Have a nice rest. Ok. Do your part and I will do mine. Ok. So, thank you. Bye-bye. Ok. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Descanse and enjoy your weekend. Yeah, don't worry. Be happy. Darwin. Que no se enoje, Darwin. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bien, Jancy, mire, obligada la dejaron a usted. No sé qué le pasó a, a Sandra. Estaba ahí, pero de repente se fue. Sí, sí, estaba, estaba en un grupo conmigo. Ajá, no sé qué le habrá pasado, pero bueno, no le voy a quitar mucho tiempo, Jancy. Este, no sé qué tal, cómo, cómo ve las clases, cómo se ha sentido usted. En este, en este módulo. Pues en realidad me sorprendo de mí misma porque <ríe> en las primeras clases que era mucho inglés, inglés, le entendía y yo le entiendo. <ríe> sí, no, Pero, claro. Eh, todavía hay muchas deficiencias en mí y aparte de lo que tengo que trabajar personalmente, que es en miedo a hablar, este, siento que no tengo como la capacidad, bueno, la capacidad sí tengo, pero no tengo la habilidad de hablarlo, porque yo a veces en, leo las, los diálogos, las conversaciones o las indicaciones, cualquier cosa, y en mi mente yo las puedo decir y suenan súper bien, pero cuando ya las trato de hablar, no, o sea, no, no me sale. Ah, Entonces, vaya, pero mire, en eso usted grávese, eso ayuda. Grávese usted leyendo, usted una nota de WhatsApp, mándesela a alguien que sea su amigo o amiga de alguien que, 
Sí, que no, no le va a estar criticando, right? Y grave y escucha si usted diga, mmm, esa palabra no suena que se pronuncie así y busca. Ahora en los, en los eh, eh, teléfonos, o sea, ahí está el icono de escuchar cómo se pronuncia. Usted le da clic y ya la, lo vuelve a regrabar y así. O sea, eso ayuda un montón, eso ayuda. Yo los puse creo que una vez aquí hicieran una grabación. So, usted se escucha, usted dice, hey, esa sí la pronuncié bien, o esa palabra suena rara, quizá no es así. La busco, escucho la pronunciación que me da ahí el, el Google, y ya, eso le puede ayudar un montón. Y escuchar también, escuche música, porque así usted está escuchando la pronunciación correcta de las palabras. Otra cosa que le quería consultar, es que yo estoy confundida con el con el my con el good porque cuando hablamos como que me gustaría o me podría uh -huh. a veces yo uso eh, my y a veces good pero no sé si van juntas Podría no, decir. o sea ellos son similares esos son sinónimos o sea eh, ahí lo que, lo que hay una tablita donde lo, la diferencia es el grado de formalidad. Si yo le digo ah. will, es como bien formal. Pero si yo le digo me hay, eso es como más informal. Pero los significados van a ser prácticamente lo mismo. Podrías, por favor. Will you, podría, por favor. Pero la diferencia es... Eh, el polite weight, ok. Uno es informal y el otro es formal, pero de ahí el, el formal es el wool. 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 W O. Yes, that one. W O U L D. Wool. Ok. Uh, y el wool you... es igual que podría, pero informal. Uh -huh. O sea, no es tan informal, pero no es tan formal como el wool. O sea, a esos son los modals. Usted puede buscar modal words, modal verbs. Está el have, está el cool, está el wool, está el mate, está el how, lo meten ahí también. So, ahí se puede buscar y ahí va a ver este, que... Prácticamente son sinónimos que yo puedo ocupar para hacer una pregunta, pero la diferencia va a ser la formalidad entre uno y el otro. Como lo que estuvimos viendo de las direct y indirect questions, right? Yo hago un amigo y hay que andar, pero alguien que yo no conozco, yo le voy a decir, mire, hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Right? So, eso. Pero por lo general van con, con un verbo. Sí. ¿Verdad? Sí, o sea, si es pregunta, would you like to, could you please, so es que son como linking, o sea, no van como main verb, sino que a veces van como ayudante de otro verbo. Hay una, hay una imagen que bien, no la tengo en este teléfono, pero moda. Quizás yo me he confundido porque... A lo mejor lo he visto junto a un verbo que no conozco. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, mira, está el can, may, must, shall, will, will, shouldn't, my, cool. So, ahí está, todos son modal bursts, ok. So, I go, can, to, uh -huh. should, must, have, to, está el will. Must, mate, cool. Así puede, puede buscar en internet. Modal burst. Y ahí está. Modal mire. Uh -huh. Por ah. ejemplo, el uh, must. Si yo le digo must, esa es una obligación. El must. Como que yo le diga you have to. O sea, no le estoy preguntando si quiere. Lo tiene que hacer. Si yo le digo you Tú must. You must study. No es que le estoy preguntando si quiere estudiar, que tiene que estudiar. So, eso también, eh, para eso se ocupan estos morals, ¿ok? Si es para pedir permiso, una habilidad, una obligación, 
o una posibilidad? Ya. Yeah. Tenía un teacher de inglés, lo que no se me olvida. Es, es cuando un teacher de, nos decía que cuando llegáramos tarde, teníamos, no teníamos que pasar, teníamos que quedarnos en la puerta y decir, May, I come in, please. May I come in, please? Sí, porque el May es una possibility. Ok, entonces ah, usted está haciendo una, po podría pasar, por favor, está, posiblemente le diga sí, posiblemente le diga no, vayas, ok. So, me hay mí es una posibilidad. Ah, uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Por eso le decía sí, el maestro, para que usted usara esa, ese modal y este... Ese modal significa possibility. Podría entrar. No sé, se me dice que sí. Si uso el wool, el wool ya viene quedando como este, una ability, más o menos. Una habilidad o una pos. Eh, sí, ability. Would you mind? Ah, ya mind? no sería tanto pregunta. Puede ocuparlo como pregunta. Would you mind open the door? ¿Podría, le molestaría abrir la puerta? Pero bien formal. Would, uh, you, by, would you mind by? if I oh, open the door? ¿Le molestaría si abro la ventana, open the window? Would you mind? Bye. Este, my es posibilidad, me digo. Good es habilidad. Exacto. Habilidad. Esta, por ejemplo, el, el should. Should sería um, advice. Should I study English? Debería estudiar inglés o es un advice. You should, si yo le digo a usted, you should study. No la estoy obligando, sino que le estoy dando una, un una consejo, recomendación. una recomendación. Debería de estudiar inglés. You should study for the exam. Debería de estudiar para el examen. ¿verdad? No es obligación, pero yo le recomiendo. Uh -huh. Y ahí hay otros más que usted los puede este, ver, pero... Eh, todos, ¿verdad? O sea, son similares en cuanto al significado, pero lo que demuestran es totalmente diferente. Ajá. ¿Y el quién? El quién es para habilidad. ¿Can you play the guitar? ¿Puedes tocar la guitarra? ¿O so el quién? Habilidad. Para decir Pero yo. una habilidad como, como, como habil... tipo orden. No, <risa> habilidad. Esa es habilidad, como que yo puedo hacer algo. Ability. Can I, uh, can I play the guitar? Puedo tocar la guitarra. Can you uh, sing in English? Puedes cantar. So, can you dance? So, ahí es donde normalmente voy a usar el can para una ability. Es, es más relacionado con, con good, porque también es habilidad. Sí, pero es que a good es como, como más polite. Es más polite y es como estar pidiendo algo. Como like to, me gustaría, like, Ooh, es un wish. Y así, pero lástima que no, yo tengo una en la computadora, tengo mi otra compu, tengo esos modal verbs. Si quiere, mándeme un, un mensajito en privado al WhatsApp y voy a ver si durante el fin de le mando esa info. Ok, me parece. 
Bueno, no, gracias este, a usted. Y ánimo, sigamos adelante, ya sé que esto apenas comienza. <risa> ok. Bueno, sí. pues gracias. Pase muy bueno. bonita noche y este, nos saludamos el lunes. Primero adiós. Primero adiós. Gracias por su bueno. tiempo. No, gracias a usted. Un gusto ahí poderle ayudar. Ok, feliz noche. Thank you. Bye bye.